BS at the uh, AKA Steven behind the, the camcorder there. And we are so pumped, baby! Here we go! <laughs> Woo! Go ahead, stop it. On the way in, we did see about uh, a half a dozen elk, at least one decent bull. And for us, they're all shooter bulls. stuck a ball, but it was far back. He was quartering away. It wasn't a great shot. I got a little caught up in the moment being my first one. And uh, it didn't look like the arrow got a lot of penetration. We'll have to look at the shot again, but uh, I don't know if it got enough penetration, but there was a lot of blood coming out. It was about 20 yards. He came bounding right in, as you saw. And uh, that bull came freaking charging in. Oh man, he was on it. We called him for a long time before he actually closed the distance like that, but then I think he saw Logan or me sitting in the trail there and he didn't know what to think. Okay, we we got blood. It's good. Oh yeah. But the didn't we didn't look like there was it didn't look like there was much penetration. I got some good blood all over the trail. Yeah, there's some. Here it is again. Okay, here's some on this log. So, that's our last known spot here. That's not even quite dry yet on that rock. They're just blood specks, man. There's more right here. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna stay between the look. He's dropping it frequently. What just happened? A little calf elk just <laughs> was wandering around like an idiot. Going back and forth, going back to your call. And he stopped here about 20, 30 yards. And I just let him have it and he just fell like a rock. <laughs> I knocked him down. Nice shot. Steven, his first big game animal is on the ground, baby. It's not much bigger than a dog. 
Daddy says it's not much bigger than a dog. It's all jerky, baby. Good job, dude. And it just smacked him and dropped him like a rock. It just, like a gunshot. He just fell and started kicking. He was done. It's crazy. Well, gentlemen, it was a successful day. We came, we conquered. We pulled a couple boners, probably, <laughs> but we called them in pretty well today. We had them, we had them really going, and uh, never did find my bull. Yeah, we didn't find the bull I shot. Lost the blood trail. Spent all afternoon looking for him. It's a bummer. Pretty discouraging. But tomorrow's a new day. And you never know what it might bring. So, day one, we've had a pretty, pretty successful day. Nice though, it's great. Oh, he's got drippage. Okay, look up here. Oh, it's great. There's a big herd, hi. Huh? There was I'd about 50 to 70. How many bulls were in there? We only saw one or two. Okay. Oh, mother. Yeah, that's Ooh. Mother Teresa. <laughs> I was at Pi and I had about 10 cows. And all of a sudden I heard a, a bugle way off in the distance. Bugle back and he answered. And so I tried to close distance quick, bugle, and then I get an answer. And I sat up here and I had just down here behind a log and I could hear him in here. So I did one last bugle and he answered right here. And I ranged a log at 30 yards. And a cow crossed, cow crossed, and that bull came and I squeaked him. Pop. Where were you sitting? Where were you? <laughs> we at? weren't too I far just, away uh, from you, dude. About 50 yards down here. And where was we you when you hit him? All right, fellas. Hack and pack is in its final stages. Day four, 
the saga continues it's just after six o'clock and we are back in the hunt gonna go back to the same place we were at day one and two where we had a little bit more success <coughs> the temperature has dropped about 15 20 degrees from the first day and we have climbed the mountain but the fog has really come in on us we can't see a thing so we're going to wait it out here for a few minutes and see if it lifts off crossing the creek and maybe about a three foot creek just not too bad I tossed my boat over into a little bush on the other side and I jumped over and picked up my bow and my sight had broken <laughs> just from that little toss into a little bush so looks like archery season is over <laughs> well it's been a tough day for we could not get in any shooting situations back in the basin that we were at the first couple of days. Beard's getting long, enthusiasm's getting short, but I'm not beat yet. It's first week of September. Oh, what am I, I'm about 8,000 feet right now in elevation, so not extremely high. But uh, that's not something I wanna go out in quite yet. up a lung. Uh, tough fourth day. Hiked our butts off this morning. Couldn't get anything to call at us. It's dark, it's cold, it's been raining and hailing. And we've made a, a sad decision <laughs> to pack it up and go home. And why is that? Well, we made the classic blunder, both of us. We both are leaving with a broken bow. So <laughs> I was uh, up on my last hunt, forgot my release. I was already up the canyon 400 yards, had to go back. Got back up the canyon, realized my bow sight was all tilted forward. And uh, I tried to tilt it back the best I could. I ended up getting into some elk and shooting over the backs of them because my sights are off and it was really, really crappy. Sometimes it just all goes to crap. <laughs> so it's time to go home, get a shower, smell like a human being again, and uh, we gotta get packed up and get on the road. Thanks.